Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out my new makeup that I just got. And it's my last day home with my animals. Now I already washed my face and I put my Curology prep, no, Curology moisturizer on. Oh, and just so you know, if you hear any like background noise, I'm watching Jersey Shore. Yeah. But for primer, I'm gonna start off by using what I have left of my pore fashion. I like to put this right here, right here, and just wherever I tend to have a little bigger pores than normal. And I got new deep brown, so let's see how this feels. And this is in the shade soft brown, so they are gonna be a little darker, which is probably gonna look weird at first with my blonde hair, but I am used to having dark eyebrows with my hair, so I will come back when my brows are done. We are back and I have my brows done and they're concealed in this Morphe sponge. I've never had a Morphe sponge, I usually use a beauty blender is really hard <laughs> well it's not hard but it's way stiffer than a beauty blend oh my god i'm gonna pack this brown up here okay and then i'm gonna take the other side and just start blending this out And now, I'm going to go in with this color and start blending it. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, now that we have that done, I'm just going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible. I'm gonna take the sultry palette and I'm gonna take the shade Birch and pack that in the center. And we literally have, oh, now I'm just taking that one brown shade that I packed in the in a, like outer corner and I'm gonna blend that. I'm just gonna do a little eyeliner. to stir my face with my Smashbox Primer Water. I spray my Morphe sponge with my Morphe sponge spray. Okay, and now we are going to be trying the new Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is in the shade Ecru 1 and 2. This is my first time wearing this foundation and I really hope I picked the right color because I really tried. <laughs> okay, scoop. And I also don't know how much I need, so I'm just gonna put that on. Let's see how it goes. This foundation actually matches my skin. I really have like five foundations that don't match my skin tone. So this is a plus. And 
I have a lot of like acne scars and stuff. You can't really see with this shitty ass quality on my phone, you know, my iPhone XS. I pay so much more. Anyways, but it looks kind of good on here because it's really luminous and glowy, kind of. I think it's supposed to be matte. I don't know. But it's not that full coverage because I have a freckle right there and you can still see it. Yeah. It is. Yeah, probably. Let's see if it'll cover those. Okay. So, how's everyone? I just already dripping foundation everywhere. How was everyone's 4th of July? I was supposed to record a video on my 4th of July look, you know, but you see how much I actually do that because I am busy. But I actually got to be home for the 4th of July, so I went to my town's fireworks with my boyfriend and we actually had a really good time oh my god okay we parked there like super early you know so we can get a good spot and so people won't you know come sit by us because i hate not hate because I mean I don't like them. I mean I don't care if people come to friends but like I hate when like there's the whole world you know like our whole patch of grass and like everyone's all everywhere else and like we pick our own spot we literally were in between like other cars and stuff and like no other person could even get their car or anything where we were at and so it was like the perfect spot I was so happy because it was just gonna be us two for the fireworks you know just chilling because like we never really like all we do is like work together and, like we just drive each other nuts so i was like kind of happy to spend fourth of july with him and we had a good spot and then these random people literally come up like five people on bikes come weaver as soon as the fireworks start come like weaver right but where we are when there's a whole field you know where people go sit that don't like didn't drive a car up there and no instead of sitting in the field you know with people they were randomly going through our cars not going through cars but like going through the cars which there's a lot of in set right next to us in i'm not even kidding like there was like a whole 10 feet even in front of us too like we were in a good secluded spot between cars because that's where we parked. And instead of, you know, I wouldn't even have cared if you sat in front of us. No, they literally sat like two feet away to where I could hear everything they were saying. I couldn't even talk to Lucas because I was just like, oh, I was so mad. So that went my fourth thing live. Also, did not care for the music this year. It was not that fun. Okay. Now I just gotta put a little on my neck just to blend it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna love this foundation. We would have to leave tomorrow, but it's a 16 hour drive and we just really don't want to have to leave early in the morning tomorrow and be rushed. Okay, and now I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair. And I'm not going to put a lot because it is very full coverage. I'm watching Jersey Shore right now. And it's the part where Sammy's literally pissed at Ronnie because he made fun of our big... Oh. oh my god. Same. 
now that we have that, I'm gonna take my Born This Way powder by Too Faced and not drop it in my bag. Oh, I can't breathe because my cat. Okay. Now that that's on there, I'm gonna take just the excess of what's on my sponge and kind of pat whatever's left. I do not feel like cream contouring today, so because I have to hurry up. My boyfriend's gonna be here soon, and then we're gonna go see my grandma before we leave and take my dog. I'm excited to use because I've literally had the wrong color bronzer for so long. I thought I got the Hulu light bronzer. No, I just got the regular one. So, but now I'm gonna be using my Kylie Jenner khaki bronzer. It's blending so good. In my little, my fucking hula bronzer, I hate it so much because I have like, like these acne, like I'm always, always is right there. So every time, and I usually, like I already did, like I'd set my face a little before, you know, putting my bronzer on so it's not patchy. And it still stick on my acne patches every single time and it'd be like the lightest strokes ever that I would be using and then still do it okay and now that that is on I am going to take my also Kylie Jenner blush in the shade pink powder I like to put some on my nose too to give it that sun kiss look. My Kylie Jenner Stormy Collection highlighter looks like this. Oh, I'm gonna take this Real Techniques blush. Brush. Not blush. I'm gonna go in with that shade I just. I'm going to take this shade first that we have in there and I'm going with the leftover of the outer corner with this tap that and then put it underneath it. So I'm going to spray my face and then put more highlighter on. my uh, beauty spot. Just to lock it all in there. And then now for mascara, I am going to be using this CoverGirl Peacock Flare. I just got this too, so let's hope this works. I want to get that Lash Serum from Ulta. I think I get it there too. Plus like 30 or $60 and I really don't know if I want to waste that money if it doesn't work. You know? Okay, it's pretty clumpy, not gonna lie. Don't really care for it. And I'm not gonna put false eyelashes on today because like I just said, I'm just going to go see my grandma. 